हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना कवर वॉट इज ड्राई कोड वॉट इज रिफैक्टरिंग राइट सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ प्रिंसिपल इन प्रोग्रामिंग विच इज नोन एज बाय द नेम ड्राई डी आर वाई और वी कैन कॉल इट एज डोंट रिपीट यूर सेल्फ सो इट्स अ शॉर्ट हैंड uh dry is a shorthand for this don't repeat yourself right and it usually means refactoring of a code by taking something done several times and turning in turning it into loop or a function so dry code is easy or uh, easy to change because you only have to make any uh any change in one place so first of all uh, what we can do uh we can try to understand this thing with the help of uh, example correct so let me uh, try to create one file by the name dry you can say and in this we are going to create one index.js file okay i am going to share the link of this file in the description uh, description section so it will be available on our devtowns github as well so don't worry about this thing so first of all uh, let me do one thing uh, first of all let me take one example of folder chips okay so let's take a uh, uh, company name over here let's say balaji and what another we have let's say tata although it uh, although it doesn't produce chips but we are taking it assuming as in as in that it produces okay so third was hans haldi ram let's say and so on okay so right now if i want to print uh these uh, uh the array elements uh, one below another so what i can do for that okay so easiest and simplest way is i need to print console dot log chips of zero for printing the first first index and likewise if i want to print all elements one below another i will do like this okay for the second for the first okay right so this is the very basic way if i try to show you how it prints so balaji tata and aldiram we are getting all these things okay but this uh, but this method is known as what so this is simply a non dry method okay because we actually for printing uh, every uh, element we need to write down console dot log each and every time so instead of that as i mentioned in the definition itself if uh, we can convert our non dry code to do not repeat yourself code by using some loops or functions so in this case what we can do to print uh, our uh, these uh, all elements uh, one below another we can use our dry code and for that i am going to use our first logic that is uh, looping so let's say i am looping over the array by using this thing uh, chips dot length for finding out the length and i plus plus after every iteration i want to print the uh, element at i index so i am simply going to write chips of i correct let's comment this thing for some time saving this thing running this thing running c still i am getting the same output but with minimum lines of code so you might say that uh here also we are writing three lines of code and uh, here also in dry code we are writing uh, we are writing three lines of code but no guys if i increase the length of this particular array array let's say i am adding some uh, other companies let's say uh, tango tango or tang is something is there okay let's add another company uh snacks let's say snacks let's say right but still my these three lines of code will perform the same action it will give me the list of all elements okay right now it is showing something error and what is that error means uh it is showing me after argument list something like that i am not getting first of all let me just clear this thing and let's save this thing once again let's try to run this thing once again okay see i am getting all the elements of my array within this three lines of code only so that's a dry code so another example let's say if i want to give the anup another examples to you for these uh let's say we have two things let's say one uh our one okay we can take uh, another example let's say so let's comment this out all things and below this let's say i am taking one array for cd okay 
so this city well uh, having the capital names of uh, the countries so let's say first of all let's take an example of delhi second example could be is lama bad right the third example could be a uh, washington washington dc and below that let's take an another array so the another array could be country which is having the country name so the first name could be india the second name uh, is for pakistan right and the third name is for usa okay so i want to print each and every country name and below that i want the capital to be print so what a beginner will do th those who don't know this dry approach correct so they will do like this console dot log they will print try to print a country see country of zero and below that they will and below that they will try to print this capital correct and they will repeat this thing for how much time until the length of the array okay so let's say currently we have three uh, three uh, three elements in the array so they will repeat this procedure okay so first they will uh, try to print uh, for zeroth position after that one position after that twoth position and what is uh, and what does this us uh, gives us in our output it is going to give us capital of oh it is giving me some kind of error so it is ct only it is not capital let's make it capital so this thing and run once again see i am getting india capitals delhi pakistan islamabad and usa washington dc but how to solve this question using dry solution so it's very simple first of all let me tell you guys what we can do as we know that these both for uh, these both arrays have the same length so i am going to run one loop on any one of the array so let's say i am running this loop over this array dot capital dot length over the capital array okay i know that the length is same so it doesn't matter whether on which loops we are on which array we are iterating our aim point is we just want our output to print let's say first we want country a uh, country and we want it to print a uh, ith index okay same goes for what capital so let's say let's take a uh, capital and we are taking an ith index of it correct so let's just comment this upper lines this non dry code and try to run over this for loop let's see what we are getting in our output so yeah my mistake spelling of capital is wrong over here no other issues if we try to run this thing see we are getting the same output as previously we are getting okay so this is this is an another example of how we can use this thing okay so easy to change doesn't doesn't just mean clean code if you can't figure out what a variable is for or what a function does based on its name so then it is harder to change it uh, later you might not remember exactly how how your code works okay or or when somebody else is trying to change your code right so that's the thing so sometimes we also sometimes we also need to pass uh, we, we can also convert this thing uh in function as well so let's say i know that i i want to print the country name and below that i want the capital name okay so one thing that i can do is i can simply call out the function correct so let's say uh i am typing down the function name over let's say cc country or capital something like this and i'm passing country array inside this and capital array inside this as a parameter right as a parameter i am just in uh, opening the block and pasting this code inside the block correct but whenever i am creating a function declaring a function i need to invoke it in order to make it run so i am passing some arguments by the same name country and capital simply saving this thing and if i try to run this code right now still i am getting the same output correct guys 
So in this way, it should also uh, mention the proper name for the functions and all this thing. Okay, a good starting name is always appreciable. Is always appreciate by the a senior programmer if you are a junior programmer, right? So uh, singular words for variables containing values of that is fruit, first name, a favorite color. So pl plural words may be uh, having the names like fruits or names or or my colors, okay? And the function name should be the description of what this of what that uh, function is doing. Okay, so that's the thing. So whenever uh, you finish writing some code, you should always look back to see if there is any way you can dry, dry it up, like including uh, using descriptive variables name, taking repetitive bits of code and extracting them into a function or loop, right? So so this is all about this dry thing, refactoring dry, do not repeat yourself thing. So it is actually a very uh, useful mechanism that you can use and for a good developer, this is the best possible thing I can suggest and try to use this uh, uh, in your codes whenever you are creating mini projects or major projects for uh, your resume thing right so I hope I am done with the video and if you guys like this video then do like this video and share this video with your friends as well as if you haven't check out our web development playlist it is already live on Dave Towns channel if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and also ask your friend to have a look at our web development playlist so that they can also get to know about a proper content right related to web development. So I will see you guys in next video and until then goodbye.